Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech. I'm Josh, and today we're gonna to be showing you all about our new FTG44 widget. Now this is an awesome plane because it takes a lot of history, a lot of scale lines, and also a lot of versatility and smashes them together. One reason we chose the G44 widget was because of its amazing history. This plane, as beautiful as it is, was designed all the way back in 1940 and was produced through 1955. Although this was designed for civil purposes, it actually saw service in the military immediately. The G44 found service in the Coast Guard, the Navy, the Civil Air Patrol, the Army Air Force, as well as British and Royal Navy who gave it its service name the Gosling because it's a smaller version of its predecessor the G21 Goose. We're really excited for the G44 widget to be our first twin motor aircraft and there's a big reason why. Not only does it have beautiful scale lines but it has incredible versatility. Uh, when I was younger, first getting into FPV, my favorite airplane was the Multiplex Twin Star. It had great features like stable flight characteristics, twin engines, but oftentimes you had to modify it to get it to carry all the FPV equipment. I really wanted one of our first twin motor receiver ready airplanes to have that cavity space where you didn't have to modify it, but for it to also be able to fly off of the land, off of snow, and off of water. If you guys are familiar with some of our previous receiver ready airplanes like the Beaver or the Adventure, we wanted to kind of keep that spirit and that theme going where you didn't need to use tape or glue to put it together. And also that the open space inside was big enough for you to get your hands in and all the electronics were easily serviceable. We made sure that the widget had all those features and more. We wanted to make sure that the landing gear was really robust to take hard landings and also the tail wheel was steerable. That steerable tail wheel can also be swapped out for a water rudder so you can easily navigate through the water. We reinforced the hull with a plastic reinforcement to make sure that you can go over snow, water, or even grass without it wearing down. This reinforced hull is smooth and sharp so it cuts into the water so during your landings you're not going to get that bounce back that you typically see with many foam models. The wide open fuselage makes it great for adding FPV or any other electronics that you want to experiment or try out. We also have a raised rib going down the center of the hull, so even if you do get a little bit of water inside your hull, your electronics are gonna stay mostly dry. We wanted to make sure that we included navigation lights because the best time to fly, especially off the water, is early in the morning or late in the evening, and especially when you get down below the tree line with this dark blue paint scheme, it makes it even easier to see. We offered the widget with 1250 KV motors that give it a great balance of power and efficiency. With two motors, you're gonna have no problem on a three cell going vertical, but you're also gonna have the efficiency to fly off of a 2200 milliamp for up to nine minutes. Now the widget is incredibly easy to fly, but I would not recommend it for beginners and there's a good reason for that. Whenever you're flying, instead of using just the aileron and the elevator to be able to bank and yank, you are going to need to mix in a little bit of rudder. Now you can do this through your transmitter or even through our aura board, but you will have to have that discipline of adding a little bit of rudder whenever you turn left or right. This is going to give you nice coordinated turns and make the plane cut through the air nicely. To minimize the need of rudder, what we did do is we mechanically set up the servo arms to give you a mechanical differential. What that means is if you turn to the right, your right aileron is going to go up farther than your left aileron is going to go down. This is going to keep the drag on the left wing to a minimum and help the plane have a nice axial bank. With that said, you're still going to need a little bit of rudder included to have that beautiful flight characteristic. Now if you're new to flying, we strongly recommend putting the aura board. We're going to actually have a special tune that you can download that's going to give you differential thrust, which will mean you can move one motor forward and backward to be able to steer easier on the water, but you're also going to get the benefit of differential stabilization. Along with that, our aura board also provides something called launch assist, which helps you take off the ground very easily. And what you're going to notice is whether you're in the water or whether you're on land, when you put it in launch assist mode, the plane is going to track perfectly straight and true and climb at an angle of about 30 degrees until you move the stick on your aileron or elevator. So the G44 wedging can be assembled without any special tools. Basically all you need is a screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, everything else is attached with magnets. You're going to find that the motor is easily accessed with a magnetic hatch that holds on strong and true and the battery hatch gives you plenty of room to get your hands in there to be able to plug in your batteries or hook up any accessories you may need. Even our elevator engages with magnets and keys to the other side so you don't have to have any unsightly glue or tape on your elevator. One thing we really love adding is accessories and our dear friend Anders designed an amazing 3D printable FPV pod that keeps the water out but lets air go through for cooling. We're going to have a link down below so that you guys can freely download that and print that and have an amazing FPV pod and also an incredible FPV experience. A lot of people may be intimidated about twin engine aircraft but I encourage you not to be. These airplanes have counter rotating props which means you're going to have zero torque and the plane is going to travel nice and straight smooth through any throttle setting. Although it does have scale lines this is incredibly capable as an aerobatic airplane and with differential thrust enabled you're going to be able to do incredible moves like pinwheels, flat spins and also have even better navigation on the water. 
So here are the specs on the G44. It has a 1200 millimeter wingspan. The fuselage is 965 millimeters long. Flying weight is about 1156 grams. We have two 1250 kV motors. The ESCs are two 30 amp ESCs. The props on the motors are three blade eight by six props. And we have four nine gram servos all around that are waterproof. Now this plane can be flown off of a minimum of a four channel radio, but if you have a six channel, that will make your experience even better. The battery range for this is a three cell 1800 milliamp all the way up to a 2200 milliamp. I prefer the 2200 because it's gonna give me close to a nine minute flight time and it balances out beautifully in the airplane. Now we want you guys to have an amazing experience building, tuning, and flying. So we did a special video for you that's gonna be linked down below. It's gonna show you how to assemble this. It's gonna show you how to tune it, prepare for flight. And it's also gonna give you tips and tricks on flying it outside. Friends, we really wanna thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I really hope that this becomes a new plane in your hangar soon. One thing you can guarantee is we're gonna be revisiting this plane over and over again because not only is it a joy to fly, but it's incredibly versatile. If you're interested in the plane, check it out in the link below and we'll see you next time.